giving you gold here. Now, again, I'm not speaking for every man on the planet. I'm, I'm going to keep saying that like a broken record over and over in case I get in trouble here. I'm giving you fucking gold to work off here, ladies. Peter. Wow. 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 Hey, ladies and gents, welcome back to the show, the Peter Welsh Show. So what's going on, people? What's going on out there, everybody? I hope everybody's having a good warm-up to Christmas. Can everybody believe how fucking quick this year has gone? It's unbelievable, guys. Jesus, Lord. Uh, you know, we're going to be talking about women on Tinder at the moment, okay, guys? So before we get into it, I'll just give you the quick summary of today. Today, we're going to be talking about what men think of certain types of women on Tinder or Bumble or any other dating site for that fact. In other words, we're gonna try and help you out today, ladies, okay? And we're gonna tell you, okay, well, if you're the type of girl who, let's say, example, you're the type of girl who's got her dog in every photo, what are us men thinking of you? Are we attracted to you or not, etc., etc. So we're gonna go through all that in a second. So before I get going, I just wanna say, you know, guys, I'm bi I'm coming from Cork in Ireland now, right? And a lot of you know that. And it's unbelievable. We've got this, like, big wheel that comes in on the Grand Parade. It parks up right outside Three Fools Coffee Shop. And it's always here for, like, the month of December. People go on the big wheel. You know, you pay, it, you know, those big rotating wheels. And the families go on, etc. And it comes up once a year in Cork. And it came along yesterday, and I was fucking blown away guys i can't even believe it's here again already i mean it literally felt that they only took the thing down fucking yesterday it's in, it's scary how fucking fast this year has gone it is frightening my god my god all right i just wanted to throw that out there like is anybody else feeling that how quick the year has gone 2023 you know, I mean, even actually, like, coronavirus. Do you remember, like, the lockdown when that happened? That was, like, Jesus, that was almost three years ago. It's frightening. It Almost to the point of concerning <laughs> how time is going so fast. Whoa. Good lord. Okay, guys, so let's get on to it, shall we? Then, ladies and gents. Okay, like I was saying. There's a lot of people at the moment on my social media following me and they're complaining that there's no nice men or women out there on the dating apps. Well, that is not the case, ladies and gentlemen. And it made me actually think, okay, well, how are people getting this? Like, I understand there is the, the type, some type of men that they're just looking for one thing. Then there's some type of women out there that are just looking for attention and approval, okay? And then they've no interest in dating men. So... There's a bit of both going on between both genders here that they're fucking around with other people and it's not right. It's not fair. But there is a lot of people on there. But there's a lot of people on there saying now that, you know, oh, well, Peter, most men, like 95% of the men on Tinder just want one thing and one thing only. You're like, what? Like, I know plenty of guys out there for any of the ladies that are listening. Well, actually, sorry, any of the men, both men and women here. I've spoken to a lot of women, a lot of men over the last year and a half, two years in person, people have actually come over to me because they know I'm doing this dating profile and the Formula One stuff. But there's a lot of people that have come over to me and told me, look, hey, you know, it's this and that. And people have been very up upfront and honest about a lot of things, that, like surprisingly. And it just goes to show me that there is quite a few people that they want to get a second opinion of, all right, you know, like, what, what do you think? Like, am I an asshole here, Peter? What do you think? Or am I a bitch? What, what, what do you reckon? You know, it, it's actually quite surprising because look, as many of you know, I keep things private, so like anytime anybody asks me to call out an email that somebody's asked me to call out an email, I never reveal their name, I'll never will, never have, never will, of course not. Your privacy is your privacy. So obviously I'm gaining a bit of trust, which is nice, which is really, really nice. And it's important because look guys, if we can help each other, maybe we can help ourselves here too. You know what I mean? And there's a lot of people right now focusing that there's just not enough good people. Everybody's out for one thing and one thing only on these dating apps. That is not the case, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? And I know, believe you me, I know it's fucking hard out there. It is hard. And I'd say even three or four months ago, 
I was on Tinder, I was on Bumble, I was on Hinge, I was on God knows. And there was a lot of girls that actually f- were fucking me around. Now look, do you know what? I've ended up fucking girls around too. Like, I didn't promise them much, but, you know, I could have just said, look, hey, sorry, you know. And just got distracted with shit. But you know what? End of the day, I didn't owe these women anything because I didn't, I didn't even go out on a date with them, first of all. And you know what? Other people, and this is the way we need to treat it too, guys. The women that were kind of fucking me around, they didn't owe me anything either. Do you know? Now you could say, well, why are you saying fucking me around so? Like, you know what I mean. You feel that you've been fucked around. But really, if you, ha- if you look at it and you break it down, you know, you haven't been. Do you know what I mean? And I know those girls didn't owe me anything. Just the way I didn't owe them anything either. But when it comes to getting into the nitty gritty and you're going on dates with people and you're going this and that and, you know, you're sharing things with each other. Now, that's a different story altogether, for fuck's sake. But let's take one thing at a time. But guys, there is plenty of nice people out there that really genuinely are looking for a partner. And I'm being very, very serious on this. I think what's going on here is there's a lot of people out there that are jumping to conclusions. And it's understandable. I've even done this myself. You know, you, you'd you have your half an hour or an hour moment of, oh, for fuck's sake, this stupid fucking bitch now, right? And then there's women are like, oh, that stupid fucking prick. You know, I totally understand. I have been there. There's a lot of people out there that are exact fucking same. Because you have a horrendous experience with somebody and you're like, oh, is everybody the fucking same? What's going on out there, people? Jesus, is there any decent person left on the planet? You know? But we just have to... S- separate ourselves guys from that because there is good people and of course the problem is when we do at that cloud of toxic shit in our heads about someone else guess what even the nice people get labeled as toxic too because you're looking for something do you know what i mean i've been there i'm speaking from experience here guys so you know please don't think i'm calling everybody out there that's like this paranoid and super paranoid for no reason no no it's justifiable paranoia But we've got to be very, very self-aware of it. Okay. Let's get into it, shall we? You know, I hope this helps people out here, guys. So, what am I doing? Today, we are calling out exactly what a lot of us men, not every man, a lot of us men on Tinder are thinking when we see a certain type of girl. The model. The girl with all her friends in a photo. We're going to break down and what, what type of guy reacts in a certain way. Now... Before I get started, please note this. And even if I was writing this out, I'd be putting this in caps lock right now because I want to make sure, ladies and gentlemen, that you know that even I'm going to break down a certain type of guy, even in, and even if you go, oh yeah, actually, that guy I was dating, he's that type of guy. Please remember this. Not every guy is included in this, what I'm about to tell you, okay? But it gives you an idea of, what some guys are like out there. Now, and more importantly, even if I break down a type of guy of, you know, oh, the horny guy or the, the guy who's looking for a relationship, it doesn't mean that if you know that type of guy, he's the exact type of guy I'm on about. So in other words, what I'm saying is you could be you could have the horny guy, which I'm gonna give the outlook of the horny guy now, right? The horny guy could be a prick. And you're like, oh yeah just Peter saying about the horny guy I know the exact fucking guy there's nice guys out there that are looking for just one thing only but they they're honest about it too you know they're not trying to manipulate you and use you they'll be upfront and honest and they're just horny do you get what I mean so there's different types of horny guy too but look so I'm just saying because (laughs) I get a lot of I get enough fucking horse shit on social media people going fuck you Peter fuck you (laughs) you're fucking dickhead boy fucking prick right so We're not talking about every man here. We're talking about just a certain type of guy. And not every guy is going to be the exact type that I'm speaking about. Okay. So, girls. Let's start off with the the model on Tinder. Okay. So, in other words, girls, if you break down into one of these categories on Tinder, or if if you're quite similar, hopefully this will give you an indication of what us men are thinking when we see you when we're swiping on Tinder. So let's say we've got number one on the list. The model, or AKA the supermodel. Now, this type of girl, she's, let's say the girl's got about 10 photos on Tinder, 
She fills out her bio exactly and everything's okay. But all her photos, all 10, are professionally done. Okay? So, in other words, imagine that. She's got 10 photos up, but all 10 are professionally done. She's on a beach, she's got a beautiful backdrop or whatever, the, the lighting's perfect. You know, you just know that there was a lot of effort put through the photo, right? It could have been taken on her fucking iPhone 14 or 15 Pro Max, but you know what I mean, guys. In other words, there's some fucking, like, legit effort been put into these photos that you're seeing, all right? And the thing is, there's a lot of these girls on Tinder, and here's the other thing, too. They have no photos of them at home, sitting on the couch having a cup of tea, or their, their cat or their dog is lying on the top of their leg, or, you know, they're not cuddled up. Everything is professionally done. Now, what a lot of us guys are thinking in this scenario is, ah, is this our hooker now? Right? Genuinely, ladies, not all of us men are thinking this, but we don't believe it either. We're thinking either one, ah, she's a fucking hooker, man, or she's an escort, okay? One of the two, or a combination of both. Right, and you're just trying to use and abuse us and get money out of us. Uh, we're thinking you're just looking for, desperately looking for attention, and she'll probably just blow me off anyway. So, funnily enough, some of these girls might think that they get so much attention, they don't know that the, the attention that they don't get. In other words, the amount of guys that actually swipe away from them. Because there's no report that you get, there's no analytics that you get on Tinder telling you how many people actually swipe left. You only get to see the swiping right if you match, or unless you've done that, you know, the see who likes you feature. But apart from that, guys, you don't know how many people have swiped left on you. So that's the thing. That's what you gotta remember. And trust me, ladies, there is plenty of men out there, especially in 2023 now, the fact that there is scammers on the dating apps right now looking for money. There is men pretending to be supermodels on there looking for money, and they'll bring it up. There is married people on there looking for a bit of love or money even, God only knows. But there's, there's so much shit that us men are thinking around in our head at the moment. And if we see a girl with all photos professionally done, we're, we may, we may actually swipe right. Because sometimes we'll go, well, look, fuck it, you never know. Maybe she just did, she just wanted to put a lot of effort into the photos, which is understandable too. But girls, you, you like, this is a mind frame of the man. In other words, the guy could have got badly burnt now in the last fucking couple of months on Tinder or Bumble having a shit experience. And because he's had a shit experience, he's going to swipe left on you. All right, I'll fuck this, another fucking scammer, another whore, another escort, whatever. That's like that's what we're going to be saying in our, 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 our fucking minds, okay? Literally. All right? Now, if the guy's having a smooth enough time, he may actually swipe right on you. All right? So this one can be very, very much a 50-50. And again, like I said, ladies... You don't know how many people that have swiped left on you because you don't get a report on that. So think about it that way too. So what I would suggest going forward, ladies, the solution here, put up a couple of photos of yourself in your tracksuit, sweatpants, right? Or doesn't have to be that, but you know, casual clothes, uh, a selfie of you with your cup of tea, reading your book on the couch, you know, something that gives the reality the the real you now it doesn't have to be you with zero makeup on and it doesn't have to be bare essential do you know what i mean but you know what you know where i'm going with this ladies so look definitely put up your model photos okay put them up definitely but don't have 100 percent of these photos because we start to question it then all right trust me on that have at least, if you're going to put up 10 photos, 8 of them professional photos, cool. But then I would also put up 2 that are just naturally taken by you. Alright? Must do that because then that gives us more confidence going forward. Okay. Number 2 on the list, baby. We have... Uh, let's see. We have the girl with multiple people in the photos. Now this, 
This is probably the most annoying one for us. Okay, because, girls, you know the story here, right? You know the story. You've gone on Tinder or Bumble yourself, and you've seen some guy on Tinder, and he's got, let's say, we'll go with the example of 10 photos again, right, for this for this person. And the guy's got 10 photos of him up there, and all 10 fucking photos, there's multiple people in each and every fucking photo. Now, duh, it's obvious we don't know who you are, and there's plenty of gir girls that do this on there. Now, look, I think this is obviously a no-brainer, this one, you know? We all know that people are going to get pissed off by this one because that happens to both men and women, right? So at the end of the day, why are you doing it? Well, it's probably, we're thinking, us men are thinking, ah, she's either incredibly ugly, all right? I'm going to be harsh here, ladies. We're like, oh, she's the ugly one, so. I'm telling you now, ladies, that's what we're thinking. That's probably the first thing that comes in our mind. Oh, wait, okay, hang on, there's... Oh, really? And this is exactly what we do. Oh, here we go. Another girl. And as we're swiping on your photos, looking through, we're speaking out loud to ourselves going, yeah, which one, okay, which one's the ugliest one? Because this is her, obviously. And her eyes go up to fucking heaven. And we're like, no, wonderful. Are, if it's not, if we're not thinking you're the ugly one, we're thinking that, ah, she's married or she's got a boyfriend and she's chancing her, her arm. Very simple. Very simple. So, do I even really need to give a solution to this one? Have separate photos of yourself? Well, duh. <laughs> of course. You know? Of course you need to. And it's the same for men as well, ladies. Alright? You know, if a guy, a guy has multiple photos of himself up with just, just other people and not himself, he's obviously chancing his arm. Or, he's the uglier one in the group. Now, I honestly personally think... It's the latter that the person's taken. They've got a boy, a boyfriend or a girlfriend and they're just trying to hide in plain fucking sight. Alright? So, that's exactly what we're thinking, ladies. Okay, number three coming up. Here we go. Number three. Is the girl who's half naked but doesn't want hookups as she mentions in her bio. Now, ladies, you know, I would say for both men and women here, both men and women on the dating apps, if both men are women and women, whichever one, are looking for just one night stands, hookups, who gives a shit? I don't give a fuck. Like, there's nothing wrong with it for a man, there's nothing wrong with it for a woman. If people want to just have a one night thing, well, go fucking enjoy yourselves. No problem. Now, here's the problem. Here's the fucking problem. Which, actually, for me, this is my big pet peeve, this one. This, this is the one that really pisses me off when I see this on dating apps. Some men would be different, you know? Like I was saying that the, the second one, the multiple people in, in all the photos, the second point. Like, some men, would that would drive them over the top with, with frustration. Whether it's they wouldn't get to me that much, but number three really gets me. You know? To me, this is a slap across the face. As in, like, do you really think I'm this fucking stupid woman? Right? This is what goes through my mind, ladies, okay? So, in other words, I'm swiping on a dating app, and I see this girl, and I mean, she looks like a hooker or an escort, okay? Now, I know I said whore there a while ago. Maybe I should... I'm sorry, ladies. Maybe I should stay away from that word, but look, either way, okay? We're thinking, oh, she's a whore. She's just looking for one thing only, all right, on a night out. Doesn't give a shit. Or she's an escort, or she's a hooker itself, or whichever one you call it, Okay? But that's what we're thinking, and you're like, ooh. And you know what? Some guys will go, oh, nice one, okay. She's up for it. Fucking hell. Let's keep swiping, and we're swiping away. And then we might have a look at your profile. Not looking for hookups, and in big capital letters. Right? The moment we read that, we just... Ugh, check out this dickhead. Oh, she's not looking for hookups, but yet she's... Hookers wear more clothes than this girl. And we're saying to ourselves, get a load of this dickhead, lads. And if our boys are sitting there with us in a coffee shop or we're watching a movie at home, trust me, ladies, we're showing the lads our phone. Like, okay, imagine me, ladies, okay? We're, I'm sitting at home. I got one of the lads there. And all of a sudden, we're just chilling out. I, I 
stumble upon a girl who's half naked in every single photo, but then I see non-hookups. I'm literally going to whip out my phone and go, here, oh, get a load of this dickhead. And then the lads will go, why, what's up? What are you looking at? Oh, look at this asshole. And I'll actually whip up the phone. Look at it. Get a load of this one, right? And I'll start swiping, showing my buddies who the girl is. Get a load of this wanker, right? And, and then I'll go, guess what she's got written in her bio, lads? Not looking for hookups. All the lads go, oh, Jesus. Eyes roll up to heaven. I have the eyes rolled up to heaven before they've even done it themselves. And we're running for the fucking hills. Running for the hills. You ain't getting any fucking love here, ladies. Now, you might get some love. Yes, of course, of course. But you ain't going to get as enough a proper love than you think. You're just pissing guys off. And why are you dressing like this? Like, you know the scenario. You know the story here. Okay? You look like a hooker or an escort, but yet you're saying no hookups. Give me a fucking break. Okay? This is an, this again, this is a no-brainer. But, you know what? If you want to know what us guys are actually going through when we see this, now you know. Now we're, now we're gonna, now I'm telling you. Alright, so that's girl number three. Okay, girl number four. Number four, baby. Number four. The girl with her dog in every photo. Now, this one isn't a problem. It genuinely is not, ladies. I've never heard one guy that I've ever, ever met in my life. Even before the dating apps were even a thing or even existed. I've never heard a guy complain about this. Never. What it does say to you, though, is that you're looking for somebody. But it's not... Now, when I say that, that's no big deal. Okay? It's no big deal. Now, but here's the thing what I would say, ladies. Right? There's no eyes up to heaven by guys. There's none of this, none of that. All right? We're, we've no problem with it. Now, again, look, like I said, I can't speak for every man. I'm speaking just of a, a good percentage of us, all right? We've no problem with this. What it does tell us that, oh, this girl, she's probably looking for, for a relationship. And by the way, like I said, ladies, that's okay. I'm just saying that having your dog in it kind of gives you the... It doesn't scream, I'm lonely. No, it's not that at all. It just says that I'm looking for a relationship. That's all. No big deal. It doesn't mean anything else. It just gives us a sign of, oh, okay, well, this one's definitely looking for a relationship anyway. Now, if people are, well, then brilliant. It definitely is a great sign to people that, oh, okay, well, hey, listen, this is a very, very subtle way of saying I'm looking for a relationship. And brilliant. Works. Works like a charm. Works like a charm. And what I would say, if you're looking for just the one, the one-night hookups, both men and women, don't have your dog in the photo. Don't have your dog because it does, it does say that you're looking for a relationship. Now look, maybe you're not. Maybe you're just open to having a relationship anyway. But I mean, here's what I would do. I would have maybe you know one or two photos of your dog or your cat or bird, budgie, whatever the hell, okay? And then the rest. I would have on your own. Do you know what I mean? I would have no other friends, no family members. I'd have no dogs or cats. I'd just have you. Do you know what I mean? Like, just keep it nice and simple. And limit the number of, ca of, of uh, photos that you have with your dog. You know, I mean, ladies, when I've seen girls with dogs, I'm like, Jesus, all right, okay, I, I get it. This, yeah, I, I'm getting the idea here that this girl wants a relationship. Now, then I'm still swiping away because, you know, there's a girl that, that's cute. Cool. But when I see a girl with every single photo of a dog or cat or whatever in every single photo on their dating app, I'm like, Jesus Christ, what is going on here? Now, to me, that does scream a bit of desperation in my head. Now, girls, you might think, fuck you, Peter. Who the fuck do you think you are? Don't shoot the messenger, ladies, because this is exactly what some of us men are thinking. Okay. This is what some of us are thinking. I'm giving you gold here. Now, again, I'm not speaking for every man on the planet. I'm, I'm going to keep saying that like a broken record over and over in case I get in trouble here. I'm giving you a fucking goal to work off here, ladies. Okay? Now, to me, too many photos of the animal. You're very, very 
vulnerable. You're, you really want a relationship. So look, that's me, maybe girls. Maybe it's not every other girl on, or every other guy on the planet. But I'd keep that in the back of your mind. Okay, number five. Come on down. The price is right. Okay, here we go. Number five. This is a quite popular one on Tinders and Bumbles. The weightlifter girl. What the fuck? Ladies, I'm going to have a go at you, I, I got to say here, okay? All right. A woman putting up all photos of her in the gym, weightlifting, you know, big fucking uh, weights that men do in the gym. I know it's become a thing, and by the way, I have nothing against it, okay? Just in case people are thinking, I have nothing against it. I think it's cool. If women like it these days, brilliant! I think it's a fucking fantastic thing. Don't be afraid of it. You go get them, girl. That's what I'd be saying. However, if that's all you have, you've got, let's say, we'll go with the example of 10 photos. If you've got 10 photos up and it's all you bodybuilding, weightlifting, why? What are you trying to say to us? Like. Every time I see one of these girls, I'm like, okay, what is this girl trying to tell me? That she can kick the shit out of me? That she's a lesbian? She's bisexual? What? What? What, what, what are you actually trying to tell me? Like, ladies, I don't get it. I mean, imagine a man who does ballet, okay? He's a ballerina, right? Which, by the way, nothing wrong with it. But imagine a guy on Tinder and he's got 10 photos up and there he is, he's got 10 photos of him performing pirouettes, is it? Silhouettes or whatever, sorry, I don't know the terms for ballet. But all he has is photos of him doing ballet. You'd be like, all right, is this guy gay? Is this guy trying to say that he, he wants to be the woman in the relationship? Girls, you know where, I go, where I'm going with this one. You know? Don't have too many photos of you with that stuff. And, and by the way, I think it can actually be quite a, a bit of a, a turn-on. And I'm not joking you, by the way. I think it actually can be a bit of a turn-on, depending on how much muscle on the girl. I'm not into girls with big muscle. Not at all. Toned muscle? Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. But I like a well-strung, toned body. Yes. But uh, I certainly still don't like girls putting up 10 photos out of 10, all bodybuilding. You know? I think there's a lot of confusion when it comes to men with these ones. We just, we don't get it. I mean, we are thinking, is she is she straight? And she wants to say that she can kick the shit out of me? Is she bisexual? Is she a lesbian? What, what is she trying to tell me here? You know? So, yeah, ladies, if you're going to do this, yeah, sure, have some of them up there, but have some good photos of yourself too, where, no, I'm not saying that they're not good photos, but I'm saying, you know, good photos of you sitting at home, relaxing, looking good on the couch, looking good out in a nightclub with your girly friends, do something, mix it up, don't have too many of the same amount, alright, okay, what's next, uh, okay, number six on the list, plastered with makeup, okay, now, I might get in trouble for this one, so look ladies, it's no secret, there's quite a lot of girls out there, they can be naturally beautifully looking. Naturally, without any makeup, beautifully looking. But your, but the girl could be so insecure that she started using makeup from an early age. She's fucked up her skin and she's in a vicious circle now. She's trying to, to keep it going. And now because she's got bad skin, she's now putting on even more makeup. All right, let's, let's cut the bullshit here. Okay, let's cut the bullshit. We all know this, okay? This isn't Peter being an asshole here. All right, so we everybody on the planet knows that there is women out there that actually do put on too much makeup. Now, when we do, when we see that, we're like, oh, Jesus Christ. Now, here's I'm gonna go with the asshole approach, right? Some guys will say, right? Even in my head, ladies, I've said this, and I wouldn't say this out loud, but even I've said this myself. I go, Jesus, can you imagine waking up to that? Fuck me. Or you might even show one of your buddies. And go, yeah. Can you imagine waking up to that now, Pete, in the morning? Yeah, a totally different person. Be like, Shh, you'd be scared, you'd be shocked out of your mind. Right? I really doubt. Unless you got a beautiful body, ladies. You got big tits, big ass. You look sexy. We might, we might get through it. 
some of us. We might just go, yeah, alright, we'll overlook it. Because we'll we'll know that we're drunk out in the town anyway, and we're looking for a hookup. If you're looking for a relationship, totally different scenario. But if you're looking for the hookup, we might overlook it. But why? Why why are you having so much makeup on? You know? And why are you showing on Tinder or Bumble? That's the what we're thinking. Alright. So I wonder am I coming across like a real prick here? <laughs> I wonder how many women have actually turned me off already, like, oh fuck him. But anyway, girls, I'm just going to give you what we think. Okay, what's next on the list? Uh, right, we've got the naturally hot girl in her bikini on the beach. So this is kind of sort of ties in with the model one at the start, right, where the girl... But kind of an... It does and it doesn't. I mean, you can still have a girl that she's got a... She's taking selfies on the beach, right? She Again, she's got 10 photos up. She was on a holiday in Hawaii. She looks gorgeous. She's in her bikini. And they're all take their selfies. And you know that they're real. But she just looks really, really good. Now, this does help. There's no doubt about it. It's definitely better than scenario number one. Where it's it's all just model, professionally modeled. Because we, we do get the sense and the feeling that... ah. She's taking a selfie. This is actually a real photo. This is actually her in the flesh. Now, we're, but we're, we're probably going to say to ourselves, all right, well, look, obviously she was in Hawaii there, God knows where, and uh, do you know what now? Yeah, her tan now is gone. She mightn't look as hot as you think here. That's what we're thinking. Now, are we going to swipe right in you? I would say any guy that's interested, that's attracted to the girl, yeah, 99% of us are going to gonna swipe right. Definitely. But we'd still have a little bit of a question mark about, uh, okay, well, look, you know, her tan might be gone now. And it doesn't mean that we're not going to be attracted to you. It just means that you know yourself, ladies, that, yeah, is Peter Airbrush there in that photo here? Is he, is he, uh, does he look this good? Well, look, if I meet him for a date now, we'll see. You know what I mean? Like, that's what we're thinking here on that one. But anyway. I would, again, a solution, ladies. Have some photos of yourself sitting there and having a cup of tea. You know? And there's nothing wrong with having a difference between you sitting on a beach with a beautiful tan and you without a tan. Like, what's the problem? Do you know what I mean? And if anything, ladies, we, pref we prefer that because, hey, this girl's being real. We can trust it. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. All right. So... This one, again, kind of ties in, but it's amazing the way, girls, it's not the same thing. Number eight, the last point, and we're going to close it off for the day. The girl with photos of other countries. Right? Now, not necessarily, it kind of ties in with number seven as well. In other words, the girl's got just her in Hawaii, but this girl's just got photos of her in, diff in a different country. Okay? Now, it doesn't have to be on the, on the beach. Right? It could be you in a restaurant, but you know that it's it's foreign. You know that it's in a different country. Now, you see, a lot of guys are going to be thinking, well, hang on. Is she still there? Does this girl actually live in Ireland? Or wherever you live, guys? Okay, so like I'm from Cork in Ireland. And if I see a girl with girls with photos of different countries, I'm going to say, uh, is she? Because there's a difference between the girl naturally hot on the beach, right? Because... If I see a girl with a photo of herself on the beach and that's all she has, I'm going to swipe right myself because I'm attracted to her. But number two, I'm saying, okay, well, look, it's her, but it was her obviously on holiday in the summertime or whatever. And she's looking great. And now look, okay, maybe she mightn't be as nice without the tan, but hey, so, so what? She's hot anyway. He gives a fuck. Right? So the only, like, the only question mark I'd have is the, oh, does she, ha is she this naturally tanned? Now, with the number eight, the girl with photos of different countries, now I'm thinking, I've got a bigger question mark on this one. I'm thinking, does this girl live in Cork? Is she actually in Cork? Her location says she is, but is she, though? Like, why isn't she showing me photos of her in Cork? What's the problem? Because we all know that, guys, you can change... Isn't it called Tinder Passport? Sorry, no, guys, I'm, I've been on Tinder so many times now that I should know the name. Uh, it is Tinder Passport, where you can, if you're based in Cork, you can 
do a location search in London or New York or God knows where. So that's what I could be thinking. All right, she's using Tinder Passport now. She's sussing up the story. Hey, this could be a fucking dude for all I know. All right, I'm not trusting it 100%. I am not trusting it 100%. In fact, it would be a bit of a 50-50 for me. Now, this is one of the points I, I can't speak for every guy on this one, I have to say. I can only speak from my own point of view on this one, and that's why I left this one for last. For me, this is a 50-50. If she's hot and I'm attracted, yeah, I'll definitely, I'll definitely swipe right. Hey, you never know. But if I'm not that attracted to her, yeah, I'm swiping left. I'm swiping left. Because even if I am attracted to her and I swipe right, I'm still not, I'm still going to wonder until I actually meet her in the flesh. I'm going to wonder, does she exist? You know, does she actually exist, this girl? Uh, is it a guy? Does she not look as good as this? Is she even in fucking Quark? So that's what I'm thinking if I have a situation like this. You know, have to say. So guys, uh, ladies, okay, by the way, we're going to change this up. We're going to do another episode and we're going to turn the... We're going to reverse the roles around so the guys are going to be picked on next. Not the girls. All right? So don't worry, ladies. I'm not having a complete go of you. But you know something? I hope this helps. I really do. Because guys know guys. Girls know girls. And I'm coming from my own experience. And anything that I've spoke called out to there, ladies... Like I said at the start, I can't speak for every man on the planet, but this is based on, this is literally based on me speaking to other guys about Tinder and, you know, showing them photos or videos. What do you think, guys? And then the guys have their eyes rolled up to heaven. They, they go, oh, yeah, no, she's good. She's good or whatever. Right? And just knowing guys in general anyway. And I'll just close with this, guys. I would say to you is, look, no matter what type of scenario, like, we've called out eight different types of girl on Tinder there. What I would say to you is, out of all of them, the, there's a common pattern here. The most important thing to do with any of these scenarios, whatever you break down, or any, any other type of girl, have some normal photos of you. You know? Have a photo, like, there, I can't tell you, ladies, how many guys love a girl who looks cute in her tracksuit, her sweatpants, right? She's not afraid to just look relaxed and normal at home. You don't have to be dialed up to the nines to look sexy. You don't. And if, you're, if you've got loads of modeling photos up, well, throw in a couple of you sitting down having a cup of tea in your PJs or God knows what, or your denim pants, right? But, you know, take a selfie. Don't have every single photo professionally done and professionally filtered and brushed, airbrushed, okay? Because we don't fucking trust it. So if you're putting up 10 photos, I would say have three or four of you being normal, and then the rest, they can be professional photos. So I hope this helps, ladies and gentlemen. I hope it does. And just one last thing. I know there's a lot of people out there that are depressed and down and out about the dating apps at the moment. Ladies and gents, not everybody is an attention seeker on the dating apps. Not everybody is looking for one thing and one thing only on the dating apps. Don't assume because you had a bad experience with somebody, do not assume the next person that comes along is the exact fucking same. Please, I, do it for yourself, not me. Do it for yourself. Anyway, guys, thanks for listening, and we'll be back, believe you me, with the role reversal. The boys are up next. Cheers. Peter. Wah. 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 Wah.